Hi guys. Hi. Uh, since we uploaded the, la the latest uh, tour uh, that really deals with our boat before the refit, uh, we've got numerous questions about why in the world are we sailing 5,000 miles halfway across the globe to just repaint the boat. Exactly. So today we're going to answer why Poland. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we have a uh, last two weeks in the Caribbean, honey. <laughs> so this is this is to our last two weeks in the Caribbean yeah. for foreseeable future. Um, we are sailing 5,000 miles, or almost over 9,000 kilometers, from St. Martin directly to Gdańsk in Poland. And uh, just about everybody asked us, why in the world are you going so far to repaint the boat? Well, there's a few different reasons, reasons yeah. and we're satisfying them all by going to Poland. Uh, so let's start with the... I don't know. Which the, one with is the, the most important? With the boat ones or with the personal ones? Yeah, Which so one should are, we start with? Two, two, uh, two, kinds, two different, two kinds, different kinds, categories, yeah. personal reasons and the boat reasons. Mm -hmm. So which one should we Maybe start with, boat, honey? Because this is the same channel, uh, you are here because you want to hear more about the boat life. So let's okay. start with boat life. So, first and foremost, the boat has not been painted uh, with anti-fouling, which is the bottom paint that uh, prevents the uh, growth of algae and all kinds of other living things that basically stop the boat in its tracks eventually. Uh, that hasn't been painted in five years, which is absolute record to my knowledge. Uh, with an ablative like paint, uh, ablative paint is like meant for, for yeah, meant for like two, or three seasons, absolutely tops, and we've got five years out of it. I'm not even saying which name of the company it is, but it's awesome, and we did a really good job apparently painting it in 2016. In any case, it's been five years. It's over. It's done. 80% mm -hmm. of the boat is still kind of black, but things are starting to grow fairly fast, and we've got numerous areas where there is absolutely no paint anymore. Mm -hmm. So those obviously grow really quick. Mm. So that's got to go. Uh, but just to repaint the boat, it would make absolutely no sense to go 5,000 miles. Uh, but since, I don't know, some of you may remember the refit we've done in 2015, we literally rebuilt the boat. Well, we didn't get 100% everything right. There's few things that kept annoying us for the last five, six years. Uh, one thing that's going to happen is that we're going to move the anchor uh, mechanism and the whole anchor thing and we, we're gonna create it and we're gonna build a whole new thing on the center bow just as if it was any other monohull. Um, right now it's kind of a contraption that somewhat worked okay yeah, the list now is why really Poland up. yeah there's other numerous things that we're gonna do um, so there is basically a long list a long list that requires good workmanship some help of the designers construction uh, money. Uh, money as well. Of course. And, well, I don't want to say we found it all in Poland, but to an extent, yes. Um, Poland, Hi. to many of you... Thank you. Hey, mm, thank you. That's really nice. It's fine. To many of you, it may not be so obvious, but um, Poland supposedly is the second biggest manufacturer of sailboats in the world. Yachts. I'm not sure if it contains. I guess Except I guess that that, that includes on, uh, motorboats, right? Yeah, but the first on the list uh, in European Union. Yeah, so sixty percent of uh, all the um, yachting. Yeah, Poland is number one manufacturer so. of of uh, boats in the EU, and guess what? There is no close second. That second is far, far, far behind. I mean, the, the, the Poland creates sixty percent of all the output. So this is kind of amazing. It actually amazed us too. We knew there was a lot of boats being made in Poland, but we had no idea to what extent that the goes. Uh, so yes, so there is a lot of know-how, uh, a lot of skilled uh, labor, a lot of um, expertise in Poland that uh, literally is hard to find anywhere else. And all that is at the very reasonable rates uh, because if you go any Western European country <laughs> or US, thank you, or US, uh, you will pay multiple um, multiple amount in uh, let's say per hour rates mm -hmm. in any given specialty. Mm -hmm. So, and also there is the infrastructure because so many boats are being made. There's uh, plenty of shipyards, plenty of equipment. And all that 
put together creates a very, very attractive place to, uh, to go to in order to do something more uh, major with a boat than just repainting something. Speaking of boat, means that uh, we are planning the, uh, we want to explore the world with our boat uh, further. We're planning to go to Pacific and so, yeah, the list of the, the, the repairs is really long, so we couldn't stay here. Of course, the plan B or C or D was that we're gonna stay here and do all of it here. But yeah, so we needed just to go to Poland and uh, according to the fact that it's much more cheaper and the quality was really high. We're talking about the uh, shipyards and designers and the all workmanship, this, uh, yeah. of course, the labor costs as well. So I think we're gonna share with you afterwards, uh, once we're gonna get over it. Uh, How's go how can we compare the cost? Maybe we're gonna do some kind of yeah, maybe some maybe things. something like that. Yeah. But for sure, we'll show you as much detail as possible as the work progresses. Yeah, and then we're going a little bit straight to the personal facts because. Uh, but let me let me let me touch on what you just said. The, so, <laughs> the point Anya was trying to make is that our plan is to go ways out, maybe around the world for the next five ten years. So. Yeah. We're not only just patching up a few things that are not uh, convenient here, but we're trying to make an effort to go forward to anticipate things that would, would need to be done within the next year or two so that we actually have a, a, a good working uh, ship for the next five to ten years, hopefully as, as independent as possible. Because if we go to the Pacific, there's really, really vast areas with no facilities, no possibility of uh, any kind of a major fix or even a minor for that matter. So we have to be really, really independent. That makes, that makes Caribbean look like a metropolis, <laughs> you know, Polynesia. So the personal yeah, but, facts. Why but, uh, like, there's one fact uh, like uh, between uh, boat and uh, personal because uh, we're so lucky that we have so many friends now uh, in Poland and they are in a marine industry. So, and they are really a big support to us and thanks that we're gonna get a really big support. Maybe it's a big chance that we're gonna have uh, partners that we can just, ex they're gonna just support us. So this is like amazing because you know, like uh, every uh, refit, it's not easy uh, process. No, and, and, it's, here, and it's not cheap. So if we're getting some of the help, you know, uh, from people, uh, from companies, that, that obviously is also one of the deciding factors. So this is like a more like a semi uh, bolt and semi uh, personal, but the personal is that uh, since COVID started, uh, so and even more, we haven't seen our families, and uh, we haven't seen your mom uh, for half one year and a half. Yes, I my actually, parents yeah, moved in here. And uh, because uh, I don't know if you remember, but every every yeah. uh, until 2019. Every year, including uh, uh, every year on, in the summer, we would put park the boat somewhere in the area that's safe from the hurricanes, and we would fly to Poland for a few months. And this way, we would catch up with our families, with our friends. Uh, the kids would see the grandparents, we would see the parents, and everything was fine. Mm. To a point, of course, you know, maybe the grandparents are not so happy to see the grand grandkids only once a year, but nevertheless. Uh, but last year, due to COVID, and everybody knows it. You know, it was pretty hard to move around and pretty risky, so we ended up uh, staying with the boat. And uh, we never left. Uh, we actually spent the first uh, hurricane season in the Caribbean uh, on board. And so now is a high time to, to go to Poland to see the families and friends. Yeah, and we are Polish, so we'd love yeah. to uh, support Polish brands and be in Poland with our boat is going to be really excited. Yeah, we're we fairly excited to Poly do that. We've been with in Poland for six, almost six years. And, for, and 50,000 miles. And then just rebuild the boat and just move further to the ocean, to the Pacific. So it's going to be like a last stop before we go really, really further. Because here in the Caribbean, it's, not, it's really easy still to commute from Poland to from Europe. But once we get to Pacific, I think it's not going to be so easy. So this is the last time we would like to see uh, be with our boat in Poland. We'd love to share with you all the details of the process of our refit. And we'll share with you all the details of the process of getting there ah, in the yeah. first place. <laughs> yeah, so we, got to, we have our last two weeks here in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. We are preparing the boat and getting ready for this journey because it's not a 
piece of cake. Anya is playing mostly <laughs> logistical support. I'm playing mostly mechanical support on board and also logistical in a sense of uh, getting parts mm -hmm. in time over here. Mm -hmm. uh, St. Martin is great for that because there's no... Uh, uh, no problem shipping stuff over here, so we've we've had uh, great success in mm -hmm. in securing all the things that we need for the journey. Uh, so we're we're almost ready. We just got a new life raft two days ago. You know things are things are um, um, coming along really nicely. Mm -hmm. Just few few minor things left, and we can ready, we're ready to go. Yeah. So keep fingers crossed for smooth sailing and. Just, I'm gonna just post, uh, maybe not on YouTube, we're not gonna be so up to date because once you go come back, yeah, you're gonna give me the cards. Because the, once the I, one, be, yeah, because once I go, once I go in, in, into the sea, there's gonna be probably no contact, m most likely until we reach English Channel, which is probably four weeks into it, give or take, plus minus one week. Uh, so, and even then, it's going to be limited. Obviously, I'm I'm going to be able to send something over the cell phone network. So, either way, the uh, the YouTube stuff is not going to is not going to show up until I actually reach Poland, and then we have time to sort through things and and edit and whatnot. Um, so, please. Be